Yeah. Well, really anyway. I don't know what you hey. guys are talking about. Um, so you went to Germany. Hey, I went welcome to, back from England. I went to the netherworld, actually. Oh, that's way I better. I was in nether realm. You know, um... They 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 say Neder with a D. Yeah. But, uh, mm. You know d- you know what's interesting actually. It's not that interesting. I'm, I lied. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, wow, you just immediately it's like oh people are gonna say this. Sucks. Well, no, you know how okay, you know how like the there's the there's the United Kingdom, there's Britain, and then there's England. Yes. And they're all different things. They denote different Shut borders. Up. Britain and England are different. They're That's different right. things. Britain's the island. The United Kingdom okay. is all including Wales and Upper uh, Ireland and Scotland, I believe. Okay, and then yeah, exactly. And you have uh, it, 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 there's there's different borders for each name. So it's the exact same thing when it comes to the Netherl- Netherlands. Uh, uh-huh. You do not actually refer to the whole country as Holland. Holland is no, I simply think that. north and south. It's a, it's an area. It's, it's an area within the Netherlands. Okay, you yeah. Know? So yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I thought ne- I thought people people use them interchangeably. I thought Holland. No, but I know Netherlands is like kind of the catch-all term for most. See, of I those thought countries. it was backwards. I thought the Netherlands. was part No, of that's not at all Holland. it. Yeah. The Netherlands is one place. Okay. You're pro- and then uh, over the ocean, you've got Scandinavia, which is a whole other collection of countries, but it doesn't count here. This is the Dutch people. Ah, uh, what are they gonna do? Bork at me? Uh, they don't. Bork Bork so much they um they a lot they do a lot of ha really? noises yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. um but it was a pretty fun time as you can imagine it was cool uh, of course you know enjoyed it and made lots of observations um lots of unexpected things occurred uh i guess i should just go down the list you have a list the sir? handy list i've prepared okay. observations huh yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. so just from from the moment i step off the plane into this land of exceptionally beautiful people. Yeah. <laughs> you have never felt your self-confidence rattle and squeak and shatter <laughs> within seconds, dude. Um, so, yeah, no, we basically, you know, uh, spent a lot of the time in Amsterdam, but we definitely went out to other ser- other cities nearby. Rotterdam is a fam- is a, another city that's Rotterdam. worth looking at. And it's interesting because you see, like, okay, you get, a, you get into Amsterdam, and Amsterdam is kind of like... Uh, it's surprisingly similar to Montreal mm-hmm. because yeah, you know how everyone says Montreal, Montreal is the most a lot of European, it's the most European city in, in North yeah. America, right? And like you feel it super hard where you go, "Oh yeah, I live nearby that kind of cobblestone thing." Yeah, yeah. and then there's that old series of streets where the buildings are really too close together and, and only like, way no. too close, and, and enough room for one horse. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the uh, the major difference is that uh, yeah, it's a place where there's more bicycles than people, right? And it's George Weedman Town. They have enough distinctions on the road so that you get your. He drives bikes the whole time. You get oh, your. I'm trying to remember who that is. Oh, it's it's, it's funny. funny. It's funny hop. <laughs> Sorry. You get your sidewalk into a uh, bike path into a tr- um, uh, streetcar mm. into car like yeah, yeah, division. Yeah. And then you remember it back on the other side. Mm. So you've got like these multiple levels of things. And every time you like step out of a building or step out of a train or whatever, and you kind of just step onto the, the the thing that looks like sidewalk, then you get like eight bikes behind you going, what the fuck are you doing? You cancer tourist. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. What is this? Because this... all of the il- insults and, and such that uh, the Dutch people tend to use are body illnesses oh, that's so horrible. and things like that. So it's like you can be a cancer tourist. Go get typhoid. Uh, I hope you get a major illness. I hope your bowels fail you and so on and so forth. Wow. Lots of lots of really just like, you know, So you're saying every, every time you stepped out onto the street, a bunch of people would show up to talk shit at you. Not they would ride their bicycles up to you to throw insults. If you no, but here's the thing: is 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 right, they're right. actually insanely polite people mm-hmm. to, for, admit, to foreigners. I, I, and that's tourists. what I would think. Um, to the degree that it's like, so oh well, from from what everyone that I met at uh, Tauntaun Arcade, and we had a good hangout, and that was fun. What type of games did they have? Uh, old ones. But like anything unique you hadn't seen before, no. it wasn't like in Europe. Virtual like, Fighter Two. I fucking I play Virtual Striker. Like, Virtual Fighter Two is like really rare. Yeah, just me. just old. Like because right. that's that's another topic entirely. But sure, sure. like games are kind of dead a little bit in Europe. It's like something that like uh, consoles at least and like arcades are not a thing. You hear that Europe? Um, it got increasingly increasingly hard over the years for them to, you know, keep businesses afloat and apparently a lot of them are shutting down in the same way they're shutting down here but it also explains how like 
Like um, traditional arcades or barcades? Well, fine. PC you went to a gaming. Barcade, PC yeah. gaming was what people had because people would buy PCs for work purposes, and then it turns out, oh shit, we can play games with these well, things let me, too. Let me wow. ask you, but is, it's a major investment is, to do just English for video games. Seemingly a, a common second language. It is. I'd everyone like, speaks like it super well. Okay, yeah, because yeah, yeah. like. You're not getting Dutch translations. No. Period. No, 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 no. Everyone right. speaks English it's very called well. E-figs. It's it's e <laughs> doesn't even have D in it. Um yeah, no, no. Absolutely. That's that's not even a question for sure. How you speak better English than us? And of course, everyone speaks better English than, than you that. and me for fuck's yeah. sake. Well, I mean, obviously they have the accent, but they have the cadence that is European, you know, and they speak in a way that is sure. it's very pl- pleasant to listen to. Uh anyway, so well, no, what I was getting at is uh okay, so I guess yeah, surprise number one was, holy shit, you expect to go to the Netherlands where the Dutch people live mm-hmm. and see a whole lot of perfectly tall, super pretty Dutch people. Yeah. And you do. Yeah. But there's a fuck ton of black and mixed and Asian and all kinds of brown right. and everything people as well. It is hyper multicultural. Well, like, yeah, they enu- imported like, them. Yes. Like and enough, then they stuck around. Enough that you made this a point. Yeah, that's that's the. I have the Dutch never used to love seen. That shit. No. I have honestly never in my life seen more like mixed, like black, half black, half white people mm-hmm. with the perfect fro lock kind of twists going on, like gorgeous Lenny Kravitz looking motherfuckers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You know, all left and right, right. And then that mochaccino Jessica Alba kind of like look, like yeah, ev- like yeah, perfect yeah, yeah. looking people all right. over the place. It again, your self confidence just oh. withers away. <laughs> you turn you know? in, like Wooly walks in and he's that tomato <laughs> from Veggie Tales. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> um, I think like one of the first things I saw, like getting out of that train station, that set it, it was like, you know, you have to have a moment that sets the pace, mm-hmm. right? Right, yeah, yeah. So for me, it was like established, we got out, right, took a little photo, and then. Like just kind of sat down for a second outside the train station, and we saw, <laughs> we saw two like brightly dressed Japanese men on a tandem bicycle, <laughs> right? Very happy, super excited to be there. Well, they're doing roll it, so. by on the bike path. Yeah. And like not, but a couple feet behind them was one of those half box car, super European mini car things. Yeah, just like blitzing down the road, almost two wheels in the air style behind the tandem bike. And I'm like, that is the most European thing I've es- ever seen. Established, established things that would never happen anywhere I'm in else. I'm in a different place. Oh, for sure, for sure. Um, so uh, yeah, the other cities that you go out to were a little bit different because a place like Rotterdam, for example, was bombed to shit during the war. Yeah. So they rebuilt it, so none of the old buildings exist. So it's actually a new modern. Oh yeah, city. it's a gleaming modern city. It's a gleaming modern city where you get out of the gleaming modern train station, you walk ten minutes straight ahead, and you get to a fucking Victory Gundam statue that's just, just there really? because that's what? what we do. We have a Gundam statue why, here. An approximation. Why would Rotterdam it's actually Gundam? Have a- yeah, and it's not, of course, it's not your Odaiba style, like, one-to-one, but it's a large stone statue of, of a, a Gundam. Robot. And you're like, yeah, we're doing that next no, to a skate park. is it of or a robot? This helped us win World War II? Or... <laughs> I, it, it's unclear, and it is, of a, it, it is styled it really after is. a Gundam, yes. Okay. Uh, not too far from that is a giant, like, literally they call it, they refer to this thing as the butt plug gnome. Mm-hmm. It is a giant mm. statue of a gnome. Holding a bell in one hand and a huge butt plug in the other, and is, is this this is at Rotterdam? This is this is in Rotterdam. So this is their mascot. Yeah. And you would, I believe, it is because when we went then to the uh, to the map and uh-huh. looked at all the different attractions and tourist shit, it all formed a the butt, butt plug. plug gnome yeah. was on the thing and as that, listed that as butt plugs. Like I'll plug your shit. Listed officially as butt plug gnome, and we're like in the map. That's what I'm trying to say. And I have photos, and I'm like, this thing, like, Ever we since. were, I thought, like, what? I know this is a sexually liberal place, yeah. <laughs> but is this what we're doing for real I now? I guess so. And, and, you know, like, just... Is, is he like Santa once a year, ch- kids? So that's the thing. <laughs> Someone I ran into explained... What? Yes, please. ...that what? apparently the original image of this was supposed to be a little mini Santa Claus holding a giant Christmas tree. But it was so poorly made and oh, so man. bad and just shit and it's sculpt 
that it ended up just becoming the butt plug gnome. That's pretty good. And everyone accepts like it and moves on. that fucking statue of Ronaldo in that fucking airport. Just oh, I, I heard about that. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Just um, horrible statues are the best. And we've moved on with our lives. We've accepted it. And I that's haven't. It. Uh, hey, where do you live? Oh, I live two blocks away from the butt, butt plug, plug gnome. gnome. When you order food in the Netherlands, like the f- way it's delivered is you get whatever you're getting, mm-hmm. but holy fuck, you're getting fries with mayo, whether you like it or not. Yes. How dare you insinuate that hey, I might not hey, be wait, getting ma- my fries mayo with mayo? Mayo on the fries or mayo on the, on the side? Okay, that's fine. And I can live with that. Because that's to presumptuous. The, to the point where after ordering a normal meal, like... The waitress came out one came out like almost like she walked in and then like almost ran back out and went, Oh, your your fries are coming. Your fries are coming. You know, in a way that was like, please, please don't be upset. This is a very important question. Were the fries good? The fries are pretty tasty, but okay. I didn't have too many of them because I tend not to eat fries. Mm. Especially uh, if you're gonna have them with every fucking cocktail. Meal. <laughs> yeah. And and it's going to, to Cuba, that's all you eat. And it's, it's to the, the point only thing that they can make that's too American like sensibilities. When you order fries, you order like the word is fries with because the mayo is implied. Weird. It's almost like when you go down so for so there's no catch ketchup penetration or it's way way less. There's no just zero ketchup. There's zero ketchup. Zero ketchup involved. Zero You're getting ke- a bowl of fries kind of out here and a bowl of mayo. Yeah. That's that's weird. I was just, fucking Leanna would want to go there. She just loves mayo. Yeah, you know, that's you, crazy. You got like you got uh, that's nonsense. Man. I mean, well, it's like he's like you know when you, you go down for down for Philly cheesesteaks. You ever been down to Philly for the originals? Uh, I, not to actually buy them, but okay. like, I've seen places because they because yeah, like when you when you go down and like you or you can order one wit, one wit out, and that's the old that's the way you order. Yeah, yeah. And it's like with onions or without onions type of thing. The mayo is implied in the word. Mm. Um. Anyway, you I have do this to fries. Uh, one of the nights we went out to like this dive that had like a bunch of old uh old Dutch people hanging out, playing jazz, and it was pretty fun. Hmm. And, like, the dude that, like, was running the bar was just just the most, like, like you were a Metal Gear boss once upon a time <laughs> Is it naked? that retired. Is it Naked Rhino? It, it, like, his face just looked tired by the war and just... Wow. And it was, it was great. It was just a very charismatic, you know, type of old man, dude. And this dive was, like, again, another establishing moment of... Like people getting way too drunk, dumb uh, kids on vacation, dropping their glass, br- spilling the beer everywhere, and like bartender comes out to deal with the situation by just kicking the glass underneath the nearest table, <laughs> like giving it a once over with one eye and going like meh, and then walking away, and then everyone continues to dance where the broken glass Fuck was. Fuck it, we'll clean it later. Right? Like fucking amazing. Don't get me started on broken glass. Uh, orange cars are a thing. I've seen one orange car yeah, in my entire I'll life. See, I'll see one orange car like once or twice a year, it's, but that's that, but, you, but you're there. saying it's a thing. It's a thing. It's a type of color that is on the road. Because remember when you and I and I think I think Leanna were looking down at a, at a parking garage, parking lot thing, and we saw like how many cars there were, and you were really disappointed. You were like, there's white, there's black, there's silver, That's and there's five see. red. Yeah, Those yeah, are yeah, all yeah, the yeah, cars. Yeah. So this must have made you fucking... It was interesting, but I, and I wanted to know the reasons why. And like, we had European, some theories. Europe has different sensibilities for Because color. orange is a beautiful color. Well, it, orange is on a bunch of flags that are in Europe. And I was like, That's maybe true. the fact that it's normalized through that. I don't know. Um, orange is a beautiful color. Outside of... Our, like, our Canadian flag is a fucking masterwork of graphic design. That it's shit's the awesome. Yeah, Amsterdam yeah. is pretty fucking up there. It's I'm, the, not, I'm not familiar with it. Are you talking about the city flag? The city flag, because okay. it's on everything, and you can break the way people use it to like pseudo incorporate it into things and make it work. And you know what it is is great. It is a uh, red bar up top, red bar up on the bottom, yeah. uh, black bar in the middle, and three white X's. Yeah, 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 three white X's throws me off. Yeah, yeah. well, they're they're crosses. Don't they're... drink this place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Poison. You, you think it's rich reference to that or to sex or whatever, but it's actually straight up. Uh, it's it's their. Crosses. It is a reference to sex, to be fair. But anyway, and, and, and uh, they tricked us all. Super slick. Um, everyone riding My all God. their bikes everywhere all the time. Yeah. No, not a helmet to be seen. Yeah, it's and like that's, nothing happens. That's unsafe. And that's uh, like, and to some degree, the entire like way the country, or at least the the cities were run, 
is one that's very different from North America where there's not a lot of like safety and laws and precautions. It's a whole lot of common sense expected on the average yeah, person's yeah, yeah. part. So the 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 actual like canals like, I read that like more people like drive bikes in Europe than like than way over, like, in America. Of course. Oh, yeah. Like, it... Cl- massively so. Well, I don't know if you know this, but every time you see a cyclist out here, you're legally obligated to throw rocks at them. <laughs> and so the Woolies. canals are running by, and, like, there's no guardrail to protect you. It's mm. kind of just like... Don't fall in there and Don't die. fall in there. Don't be a stupid American that falls in there. <laughs> and don't let your stupid kids fall in there. Yeah, and that's they, that's key. And if they do just fall in there, go get them. Just be a good parent. Go get them. Slash and not a dumbass, you know? and, and Never! That's kind of the, the, the sort of attitude. Um, Take all the guardrails off the roads. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, no all canal railings. No fatties. No fatties anywhere. So, <laughs> so we can't go. Oh, man. Um, there's some cool ass shit on every street in the form of <laughs> like, 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 like when Fun they plug, want. No. When it's the time for the street to, to stop. You can do the for like like uh, no more traffic or cars or whatever, just pedestrians only. You get these cool little like electric pylons that come out of the ground. The with ones that'll what? absolutely flashing oh. red lights. Those things from Watch Dogs that'll fuck up a car. Yeah, they come up for real, and they come, and like every day it's a whole thing. And I'm like, oh my god, the tech looks cool. Um, you ever see videos of people trying to rush those? No. Oh, it's a good way to absolutely <laughs> destroy your car. Do a fucking 180. Oh, well, like get like oh god, it's gonna close soon. Yeah, it's gonna go. pop okay. up, so I gotta rush it. You get a jump. Like it always comes up and smashes the undercarriage <laughs> and destroys the car. Can we get a uh, footage of that with sonic spring noises going off? Spring? Um, spring. Language is well, besides like not, when it comes to English, I mean, is treated in this weird way where. Okay, cafes are bars. Oh, no, not this okay. again. Coffee what, what, shops what are, bars? are weed dispensaries. Well, that's not language. That's just what... And everywhere has coffee, but there's nowhere to have a coffee. Okay. You mean there's not an exclusive coffee place? It's so hard to find. The place that just like... everywhere has coffee. Everywhere serves coffee, but there's no place to sit and have a coffee. Oh, okay. Or rather, so. it's just really rare. Well, no, because yeah. why would you sit and have a coffee when instead you're just going to get blazed on the street? Sure. And you specifically, and the word coffee shop as one word is how you know they've got the big weeds. Yeah. Um, the and, biggest? Yeah. The, the, and the, the, they get like how many where pounds you are. of big weeds did you smuggle back into the country? Zero. I, in fact, I, smuggled, I had a very. I smuggled three boxes of coffee. I had a very, like, by, by all means boring uh, yeah. in comparison to what you'd expect trip because where i just i drank a lot of cider and well, i drank cool. uh, and i drank any, a lot of coffee you get any good ciders yeah any, man like, they've awesome. got yeah apple bandit is the shit apple bandit that's a good name apple like bandit that. is the shit I dude. Like bandit um I like so so what you're saying Willie, is you brought back one whole package of coffee one unit of coffee. Yeah. Well, yeah. well in fact, uh, someone gave me some coffee gum for you. So you've, you've, I've got that. Coffee um, flavored gum. But yeah. Yeah. No. Nary. Not a single weed smuggled. Um, not even one. Disappointing, but expected. <laughs> uh, you got the big old church in the middle. Of yep. course. And right across from the church is the red light, the red light, like sex worker well, doors. Of course. And then they're facing each other, and yeah. that's that's how the culture is. In and out. And then, right next to all the sex worker doors, is the kindergarten. Okay. Yes. They don't tell you about the kindergarten. All right. That's right in between there, because, hey. So this, you know. Practical, actually. It, if you really it's, think it's, about it's it. It's all pretty practical, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. The kid, you know, the workers, they got to have somewhere to put their kids. Absolutely. Yeah. work. And after work, they gotta go. You know, they gotta go to work. Honey. For sure, clean that shit up spiritually. So you just walk across the street and be like, "Bim, bam, boom, done." Thanks, thanks. Done and priest. done and done. And and not to and mention then the, the you know the. And the, you want to talk about efficiency? The church people gotta go somewhere on their day off, mm. right across. The <laughs> and uh, for efficiency, like the ground of the church is also where the bodies go. It's a graveyard too. Well, that seems impractical on the long term. Well, I mean, it's what they did. People okay. got buried in churches. Okay, but I mean. Um, Isn't the big yeah, thing? fine. No, but that it was staring at that kindergarten was really like you have one of those moments of like it's almost like the first time you hear about um like like safe injection sites, right? Where you're like, this 
makes sense and is a good idea. Right? Boy, I wish we had one of those around <laughs> And you're like, here. yes, it is. And you're like, okay, yes. No, we are. This is correct. Ooh. Took a minute, though. <laughs> I'd rather have one you know? of those around here than catching the hobos underneath the local patios fucking doing drugs. That's scary. Uh, we also went out to Mystery Land, which is a very cool music festival. Had a good oh, time. I thought it was going to be a fucking Scooby-Doo-themed amusement park. I, no. no I, assumed it, I assumed it would be an escape room. No, it was a big, big thing where there was a lot of escape rooms that were two people, so it wouldn't have been. I don't know, man. When you say, um, we're going to Mystery Land, oh, yeah. oh it's a music festival. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was a music festival, and Dead Mouse was there. Oh, cool. That was cool. Did yeah. you say hello to Dead Mouse? We did not. Uh, but we enjoyed everyone else and everything else, and there was lots of good music there. You should have gone and, up to the backstage and been like, listen, I have a YouTube channel mm -hmm. it's got 55k 50, 60ish 55 subs. 50 subs oh someone's you paying attention you might have heard of it it's someone it, someone's clicking refresh it's called Arcadia uh they no so anyway no the one thing i did notice on the way there was the <laughs> actual places where people live the suburbs and mm. whatnot uh of the netherlands cleaner than japan Wow. If that makes any sense whatsoever. Yeah, I could see it. Like pristine beyond pristine. Like to the point where it's almost like people don't live here. You know? <laughs> like they're all just like new buildings and just no one lives. Super they're weird, but yeah. Around. Uh okay. Whatever. That's creepy. Um middle aged Dutch men dig green dreads, apparently. Lots of lots, lots of compliments. Lop, lots of compliments from dudes. Imagine they don't see it every day, so lots of compliments from dudes that looked like the village that uh um dragon tattoo took place in yeah <laughs> you know like people that lived up there yeah. um uh there was a sick ass batman arcade racer yeah that, no, i i don't know you have I, you played yeah, it no i i played that at i think when i was in la last time it is absolutely the most insane game i've ever played because there's so much too going much on going on and you don't know yeah, what to do yeah yeah you have 18 objectives at all times and, and you're and you're racing but also it, shooting it, things it's, it's twisted metal but it's a racer at the same time yeah yeah no that it's, was that was crazy wacky that crazy and I, and I spent money playing that yeah that yeah you time. did fuck yeah you did spend money playing that uh did the heineken tour of their brewery uh -huh. and see how the heineken was made and there's where the child fell in and uh and it's never got him out yeah well you know after seeing the basics of how the beer is made and you go oh okay cool they have all these fancy little like you know like oh here's a fancy little bar a fancy little like screen that reads you as you do your gestures and noticing that like it ran on old connect technology where really hey everyone seems to be able to do their heineken gesture just fine oh woolly can't do it though Oh, why is that? Well, anyway, moving on. Okay, <laughs> you would think that would not be that big of a problem mm. in Dutchland. Mm. Yeah, but and uh, I don't know. Beyond Willie that, is referring to the fact that the Microsoft Connect hates black people. Um, beyond that, you know, you go to the uh, the super super duper rich areas of like you know uh, of town where your king dot com is is set up oh and, you know and ing you direct take shit on and all their that lawn? stuff yeah well and you're just and you're looking you're like the and you know Rem, the old rembrandt house and such really? they're like these are all really fancy ass places that were originally owned by the people who ran the dust east du uh, dutch east india company oh uh aka the the, the ones who started this slave game shit yeah this is the motherfucking thanks they get. <laughs> hey, look. Look, there right? it is. Yeah, it's right there. The beginning of human evil. <laughs> right. I'm looking at the building where it started. Bunch of guys sitting around wave. going, boy, we got a great idea for you. Let's see if we got to sell you on this great idea. And they pawn off all the blame on the West India Company, but the East India Company. Yeah, yeah that's true. Is they that's got... Is yeah. that how it goes? So yeah, there's yeah, the, yeah. Dust, the, dust, the Dutch West Passing India Company the is the ones that were like, oh, man, we're just shipping these slaves in faster than we know what to do with them. There's so and, many. But the East India Company was like, hey, no, we're just about protecting our exports, man. We're just doing it. You know, we're doing what we need to do. But the people that are on the fucking board of directors of both companies are the same people. Oh, uh, man. And anyway, you go through your history and it's all there and it's fun. Oh, man. But, and, but like, yeah, so all those black people and all those and such are coming from the, you know, former colonies that, you know, they used to have Dutch passports back in the day because that was the like, hey, you know what? 
Uh, sorry about all that. You can use your passport to come here if you want. Ah, that'll that'll okay. uh, that'll fix it, right? Well, it's, uh, mm. eh. either way, <laughs> pleasant place though. Awkward, really fun time, good stuff. Uh, so you had like a, a meetup at the barcade. How'd that go? Yeah, yeah, man. Because uh, I'd be like, what are the numbers there? People came out. People hung out. It was uh, yeah, you know, like you brought. About twenty people or so, you know, twenty still, European. It's still more than I would think. Folks popped up. And, now, how uh, many of those people were from the area, or just happen to also be in that area? Uh, almost zero were in Amsterdam because they're like, we don't fucking go there. Why would we do that? No, we live outside in the, the normal cities. Mm-hmm. Okay, and you guys deal with because the city of Amsterdam has less than a million actual like really? inhabitants. Mm-hmm. And as four million 17, mi- 17 million tourists. Huh. So you're seeing nothing but tourists. Wait, did you did you not make? Did, is that a made up number? They have on uh, la- they used to have uh they used to have four or, th- or three million tourists. Last year their count went up to seventeen. And that's per year. Uh, per year. Okay. And they're estimating it's going to keep going so up. What is that? Like 20, 30, 40% of everyone on the street is not from there? It, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's incredible. And that's, that's, the actual population of the Netherlands itself is close to 16 or 17 million. That's bananas, dude. So, yeah. That many people coming in and out. It's I very mean, bananas. You know, it's, it's, it's Amsterdam. It's fucking, mm-hmm. you know, international party city and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like living in Montreal, like a lot of Amsterdam's unique poles are not that exotic. It's true. Because all the stuff that everyone's like, oh, all that shit's legal. And it's like, well, it's not legal here, but it's like, you can get away with it. It's like, no one's, no one's going to arrest you ever, <laughs> ever. I can't find it, but I was given some insults to give you guys, but Le, like, you can save those and just use them on a video. I'll yeah, find them eventually. Yeah. Just have a list with shit. you. It's like whenever your people. All I know, all I remember is your 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 ginger people are called uh, fire trucks. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because uh, whatever we're red is it that? Yeah, simple? yeah. And and then like and there's it, always an emergency. And it's and again it comes down to wishing you know illnesses and oh, diseases upon, <laughs> our, upon your fire truck. That's so European. So. Wishing illnesses and that's a, one step uh, removed from curses. A pox Basically. on you in your house, man. Yeah, a literal pox. So fire truck. See that's that. See that's you know there's a problem with that, and the, the problem is I love fire trucks. It's too noble. They're great. Fire trucks are heroic and big and red. And when I was a little kid, I was I had a fire. It's, everyone loves them. I'm so sure. excited now. Kids sure. play with fire trucks. Yeah. Uh, also had a good time being in, uh, being in. Uh, uh, um, you can do it. Uh, uh, God damn it! So many things. I'm cheering you brain. on. Yeah, we're doing. Uh, it. Being in a city, being no. in something else, in 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 proximity, <laughs> being to... being in being in an area that uh, was near Ireland when the the fight uh, oh, went yeah, off, when, as when it McGregor, were, yeah, yeah. and people chanting through the streets. Remember the uprising in children, children of men. Yes, yeah. It was a little like that. Really, that, that was going on. It was were. pretty wow. intense. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I watched Power Rangers on the plane, and that was an alright movie. It was alright. Yeah. Probably better than you thought. Yeah, there's gonna be there's, there's infinite more, but I mean, suplex. let's just call it there. When expectations suplex, so. are low, suplex. Yeah, let's just call it there because uh, um, there'll be bits that bleed out of me as time there goes you go. on, and that's, uh, that's an uncomfortable image. Yeah. Some Europe will bleed out of you. Yeah, I'll like see that. if I can slap together some kind of. I have uh, there. There's uh, someone suggested a video idea that I thought was non unconventional and pretty fun. So I'm gonna. I, I took some footage for some dumb things. Workshop so that. that was it like? I got nothing. I did. I thought I was gonna have something by the end of me saying that. But then I didn't. That's okay. I, there's no joke. Help. What did you do, Pat? Oh man, nothing. So no, no. There's there's some stuff, but I. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I just remembered one wait, thing. Wait, wait. We're calling I just remembered. In. I just remembered one you thing. Literally, actually <laughs> startled me. <laughs> I just remembered one thing. Yes. One thing. Okay, you know how windmills are like huge and boring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta talk Catong versus them. SNK. They're super fucking cool. Yeah. Okay. Why? Well, the inside of a windmill uh, is like. It, oh, did you not know that? It looks like the inside of a clock tower. It's like a Castlevania state. It's yeah, so because, cool because it is a clock tower. It the power is just coming from outside going in instead, instead of, of inside, inside going, going out. out. Uh, it's super dope, man. 
Very throw, all the little you, ge- cogs and gears. You and, throw a guy in there and he gets all chewed up by the stuff. It's yeah, great. no, and I feel like the fucking like uh, JoJo intro is going on while you're walking up those stairs and right, stuff. Right. Really cool. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's what I. That's what I. He, it, little boy Wooly got really excited by when those clogs first are still there. stupid though. I don't care what anyone. Did you get a lance I'll, and I'll tilt agree at with him? you there. What? Don Quixote? No, nothing. All right, great. 